I've been blessed enough to, to have opportunities to shoot some crazy people in my life. RIP Juice World, that's an iconic photo. Like I took the photo that later became his album cover. It's almost like a high school picture. So we had to get like a high school backdrop. And I was like, shit, I went to like 50 places in LA, no one had it. So no one had that like marble backdrop. And I was like, fuck, like, you know, I'm just gonna use my own talents. Like I painted for years. So I just painted the background with that. And I made the clouds with like three different types of blues and some whites and stuff. And then I just made, uh, I made the backdrop. And then like, it was so makeshift, but that, that's what makes my, like the photos so real. You know, I, I feel like they connect with it. It's so punk, it's so, it's so punk rock. But the golden hour time, it was a perfect time. It was just like this. And it was, uh, and it was just shining on his face perfectly. And, and uh, that's when I flashed the photo. It was just psh, boom. And that, that's how I got that photo. I think I took that photo with this camera, to be honest. <laughs> it really comes down to just moments and really capturing just the essence of who someone is. I love shooting people and things that are happening in life. What makes LA, you know? I wanna go see the gangs. I wanna go see the punk shows. I wanna go see all that shit. What the realest shit is, is like what's right in front of you. Like, you could hate it. You could hate what's real, but yo, most of life is fucked up anyways. And then good shit happens sometimes.